Okay. First, I wanted to give you a little bit of backdrop as to what we were thinking when we put in our HVA system and why we went with the spiral tubing. We really wanted to get that industrial look in the house and we knew we wanted to do uh, an exposed type HVAC system. Uh, we had a few people quote us on the insulated ductwork. Um, uh, I found a, a contractor that said, hey, the insulated ductwork's great because it delivers more accurate heat to those rooms. But at the end of the day, the spiral ductwork still is, is radiating inside the house. This isn't up in the attic or anywhere where we need to worry about it being insulated. Any cool or heat moving through it is simply radiating into the house. Uh, in addition to that, we actually set up three zones, even though our house is technically only about 1,600 square foot. Most people know we put the big garage doors in there, and we really wanted to be conscious about days when we had people over and in and out of those doors, and if we wanted to leave them open. Um, knowing that when we went to bed at night, we would still have a comfortable bed to go to sleep in and everything wouldn't be all hot and sweaty. So uh, we established three zones. There's a master bedroom zone, there's the living room kitchen zone, and then the uh, girls' bathrooms and the uh, laundry room are controlled by that third zone. We have a third thermostat in their room. Typically not done on this small houses, but it was mainly to be able to uh, control that heat when heat or cool when the, um, when the garage doors were open. Uh, the spiral ductwork worked out great. Essentially, it's a giant horseshoe uh, in the house where it goes uh, from one end to the other and horseshoes to the HVAC system at the back. Uh, simple heat pump system in Texas. You know, uh, I haven't really had a true 100-degree uh, day in Texas since we put it in. However, we did have uh, 90 degrees, I think, this past weekend, and my, my daily bill was uh, $3.80 to, to run it. So super excited about that. That's that closed cell insulation. When you see the pictures of my house, all that stuff up above is really just the closed cell insulation spray painted, and uh, we left that all exposed in that industrial look. So I'll take you around and I'll show you some pictures and video of the house itself and the different components of it. Part of why the tubes come out and then there's the drop down on it. In that drop down is a control valve that opens and closes based on where I need heat or cool. If it calls for cool in the living room but not in the bedrooms, it only opens those valves. And in addition, the actual unit itself is a multi-stage unit that doesn't always run at 100 capacity on. There's also a I think it's 65% and 100% on how it runs. But uh, if you got any questions, reach out to me. And I'd be happy to uh, talk with you privately if you got any questions. Okay, so the two different ducts that come out into the living room area, uh, I think it's 14 inch tube. That's basically a horseshoe that runs down that way into the two bedrooms across the top there. It's actually a soft flex tube they used up there because that'll be hidden then back into the master bedroom and back out this way. Okay, so this is one of the kids' rooms and basically in the horseshoe of the ductwork, it just basically passes through the rooms. Oops, I should turn that light off. It just passes through the rooms with a drop in there and you see the uh, valve there to control the airflow. Uh, we've yet to put a stairway up to that balcony yet. We'll get there one day. So in the master bedroom, uh, we did create its own separate uh, return there on the master bedroom as well as two two drop downs on it uh, that are also controlled by its own separate thermostat. Uh, like I said we have three separate thermostats in the house and uh, we're able to control this master bedroom and master bath separately from everything else. So that right there is the control unit for one of the valves in the living room. We have a zone system that actually drops in three different zones with a thermostat for each separate zone uh, to be able to control rooms differently. So this is the messy part of the barn dominium. So sorry, this is where I store some leftover supplies and some tools I'm still using and stuff like that. Oh, and our Christmas stuff, you know, since that's where it's gonna end up. But upstairs, behind the scenes, some of the uh, stuff that runs to the smaller rooms, we did use the soft duct where it would be hidden. Uh, that big one you're seeing there is actually the uh, return, one of the returns as well as uh, the smaller ones. One runs to the master closet, one runs to the laundry room, and one runs to the smaller bathroom just to circulate a little bit more air in there. And uh, it returns back in there, and that's our second return that'll be up here in the attic. And uh, one of the big uh, 
that one right there you're seeing is actually part of the horseshoe that comes around and there's the other part of the horseshoe that goes back out the other way from the main uh from the main unit and the main units down there with all the control panel and stuff like that and that's basically it